Hello, everyone. Welcome to this year's last T3 video, Technology Tips with Tim. Uh, this is always one of my favorite sessions because besides giving away our regular monthly door prize, we also will be giving away our grand prize, which is the touchscreen Chromebook. Again, uh, if you submit an answer to a correct answer to the secret word for this video, it will be eligible for this month's prize and your name will go in the hat again for the touchscreen Chromebook. So let's go ahead and hop into these resources. And I have uh, three resources I want to share with you here today. First of all, I want you to know, and you maybe have heard of this, but uh, Gmail is going to get a big facelift. Uh, I have a link here to a document that kind of shows you, or well, does show you what's going to be new in Gmail. It's not available yet for our school division accounts. It will be rolling out here soon. Uh, I assume probably over the summertime because uh, what they've done so far is made it uh, available for personal accounts. And then they're gonna let it roll out to G Suite for Business and Education. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull in a window here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Okay, here's my personal Gmail from another browser. And uh, what the way you can access the new Gmail is if you go to the gear here in the upper right, if I click, this first option is try the new Gmail. When I click there, you'll see how it changes. And I'll go ahead and point out just a few of the highlights of the new uh, interface. All right, first of all, here as you look at it, go ahead and close this out for now. As I go across my emails, if you look over to the far right, what you'll see is you'll see three buttons right away. You can see you can archive directly without even opening the email up now or checking it. Uh, you can delete it directly, or you can also mark it as unread. Again, you'll see these icons pop up as I go across just the subjects. Okay. You don't notice over here that the compose button looks a little bit different. Uh, the other thing that you have here, if I go to my gear, I have a my display density. I have three different ones. I have default, which I'm on now. I have comfortable. I'll do OK. All right. And notice there's really not much change at all. Matter of fact, when I do that, I really can't see a whole lot. If I go back here, if I choose compact, I'll hit OK. And compact makes it a lot uh, tighter there. So you have those different options there. And I think the, uh, when it comes to display density, you know, the default, I believe, is just a comfortable. In other words, I can make whatever one I want there. So I just, I'm just going to keep it a comfortable right here. Uh, the other thing that's neat is if you look over here in the far right hand side, I hope you can see this in the window, you'll see calendar, keep, and also task. And then there's also add ons. I believe I mentioned this in a previous uh, video. They'll, they're creating add ons now for Gmail. The first couple they put out, I really didn't see anything that was that significant, but I'm sure they'll be adding more as we need more we need to keep an eye on. But what's nice is I'm going through my emails here. I may want to add something to my calendar. So if I go here to my calendar, see it shows today, but I can go through my calendar. If I want to add something directly there from reading an email, I use Google Keep a lot. So let's say I'm opening up an email. Uh, here's one from a group here, Heritage Association I belong to. I might open that up. And if there's some pertinent information here, I can easily go over here and make a note in Google Keep. All right. And I can, like I said, also add the task. So I really like this option here. The other thing is, is with this uh, email open, I want to point out is it has e Gmail, I guess, is getting smarter. What it does, it looks at the context of your email and it actually gives you, when you open the thing up, some default reply messages you may want to use to save you some typing. So this it, uh, indicates or, or realizes that it's asking me to do a task. And so if I want to go and click, I'll take care of it. Okay, it automatically just puts in a reply, hits send, and off it goes. So uh, this is uh, a nice little aspect of the new Gmail that I really like as well. So I hope you uh, take time to go ahead and check out the new Gmail. Uh, again, I know most of you all have a personal Gmail, but uh, just be heads up when you come back or, or start looking at Gmail over the summer. You may see this new uh, Gmail pop up there. Again, I, I think it looks pretty nice. It's been, it's been a long time since Gmail has been overhauled. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to go and point out is this was Deborah Custis shared this with me. Uh, this is an online Venn diagram tool. It's it's really neat. 
Uh, you can come in here and put down your name. Uh, let's say I want to compare, uh, I'll do the old classic apples and oranges. And I go ahead and click on start. And notice it creates my two little circles here. And it gives circle one, circle two. If I click uh, on this, double click on it, I can go ahead and give titles to the specific circles. Notice if I wanted to, I can go ahead and change the color. All right, and don't forget to go ahead and hit the check mark. It doesn't uh, save it if you unless you do that. And uh, if you don't, if you don't want something, you can always take it and drag it up here to the trash uh, can to delete it. But if I do a new item, okay, in order to say I'm going to put seeds, and I can do an item size: small, medium, large. I'll go ahead and keep it on medium. I'll do this. I can drag, whoops, I don't want to drag my circle there. All right, I can move that back, but I can take seeds. I can drag that right here. And so you can see I can start adding items and putting them here in various places in my in my circles. Um, I can always add new circles if I want, so I have more than two. And uh, if you have any questions here, you got a little question thing, there's more information. I have the save option. Okay, I can open up other ones that I've saved. I go and click on finish. All right, notice I can save a draft. I can save a final one. I can share it. I can print it. So there's nice little options. And again, this comes from the Read, Write, Think website. I know a lot of you all have used that before. So it's a neat little tool. Uh, so thanks, Deborah, for uh, sharing this. Uh, and for our secret word, let's go ahead and use the word VIN, V-E-N-N. -N. So the secret word for this month is VIN, V-E-N-N. -E -N. Last resource is something called rewordify.com. Uh, double check and make sure that the filter is not blocking this one. I, I don't think it would be, but we'll double check here. Uh, Rewordify, it, it does a lot of things here. Um, one thing that is highlighted when I first saw it is how you can take uh, text that has a pretty difficult reading level and paste it in here, and it will simplify the text for you. The best thing to do is there's a little demo link right here, and it says, Welcome to the demo. And I'll just kind of go through some of it here real quickly. But I hit next, and notice here this is an uh, English text uh, that's pasted in here, and obviously it's 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 very difficult uh, to read. And, and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here, and it gives examples of words like if you look it up in a dictionary, really, uh, in some situations the, the students really aren't looking up the appropriate word that's used when it comes to this context. So what you do is you use the word here uh, or the rewordify re text button in order to simplify things, simplify things for you. Uh, and so I gave you a couple more examples here how some, difficult some of the words are. So if I click rewordify text, see what it does is it takes these difficult words and then it puts in words that would be easier for people to read. And so for example, WAIF, W-A-I-F, here they change it to the poor homeless child. And if I click on this, it says, you know, here's poor homeless child, but this is the original word. And if I click learn this word later, it adds it to a list that I can go ahead and create that I can study and learn this word. So I'll click it again. And it also has, uh, I can hear the word if I click on that. So this is just touches the surface of what this website can do. Uh, again, you can create your own word list to learn, and there's all different kinds of options in here. So please take the time to check this site out. I think it's uh, pretty interesting, and the article I saw it in uh, gave it very good reviews. All right, again, thanks again for uh, watching the videos this year. Hopefully you got uh, uh, some good resources used throughout the year. I hope everyone has a great summer. It feels kind of weird here wrapping up in May, but it is nice. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing everyone and sharing videos next year. But everyone have a safe and relaxing summer. And I'll be sharing who the winner is for the door prize this month and who the grand prize winner is for the touchscreen Chromebook soon. All right, take care.